first part of this process is weaving off a plain cloth where I keep the salvage edges a little looser than you normally would with a cloth that you were weaving as a final product. Once I've woven off the full cloth, I then untie the front of the cloth from the front beam. And I then spread it across a plastic sheeting and boards to begin the dye painting process. My dye painting process that I use is done with F dyes mixed with sodium alginate to thicken the dyes so they don't run. To keep the areas that I want white, white, um, and also, also to further prevent the dyes from bleeding in, I use a cassava paste resist, which then will wash out once I wash out the set dyes. I let the dyes set and then rinse them out um, and let the cloth dry. Again, this is all attached to the loom, so always fully attached to the loom when you're working in this process. Once the cloth, the rinsed out cloth is dried, I reattach it to the front beam, um, carefully re-knotting those knots that you put on the front of the, the bloom again. I then wind the whole length of cloth back onto the front beam, making sure I don't get any bumps or hiccups in that process. Once I get the cloth fully wound on, I make sure that I get the tension correct. This sometimes means retying a few threads from the back end of the loom. But hopefully, if you tied on the front correctly, the back should be fine as well. The process of unweaving um, is a little time consuming as the shuttle and the bobbin are not supposed to unweave cloth, they're supposed to weave cloth. To help guide me for when I reweave the cloth, I mark the edges of my selvage with a permanent marker. When I reweave the cloth, I can either use the same warp and weft together, and that gives me a hazy or ghostly shifted effect of the same image. The other option is to use a different weft with, this, with a warp, giving me a pull and push and pull of two images competing for the surface. 